Let's move on to the next question. The diagram shows a semicircle ABC with center O right here and radius 6. This is 6. This also will have to be the value of 6, right? The point B is such that the angle BOA is 90. So BOA is 90, which means BOC is also 90. Might make sense, right? Now what else? Um, we have BD is an arc. So BD of a circle with center A. For example, here we also have another circle, center A, which has an arc BD. Okay, I hope you can see that. So here we have a circle here, and this is the radius AD and AB. Now let's move on with the questions. So here we have what? Mm, we have this, and this is also 6, the radius, this is 6. Right. Now part 1, we have to find the length of BD. So we have to find the length of the arc BD. So let's think, how can we find the length of arc? Usually, we find the length of arc by using our formula, which is r times theta. Right? That makes sense. r theta. r is the radius. Theta is the angle inside. By observation, here, the angle is here, theta, that we don't know. And the radius is here, that we don't know either. So we have to find those values first before we find the arc length BD. So one by one, what if I do this? For example, I look at this shape, I have a triangle inside. I have A, O, and B. This is 90, this is 6, and this is 6. So I can find this by using the Pythagoras theorem because it is a right angle triangle. That should be 6 square plus 6 square have to be AB square. So AB have to be root of 36 plus 36, that will be 72. Okay, so now we have this length. 72 is the value of R, root of 72. Now to find this angle here, pretty easy as well, we use Sokatoa, right? So we know this side, we know this side, this is my opposite side, this is my A side, we can use tan. So tan of the angle is going to be the opposite side over the A side. That will be theta, tan inverse of 1, that will be pi by 4 as the angle in radians. Now tan inverse of 1 is what? We have to know. So tan inverse of 1, let's use degrees so you guys know it is 45 degrees. Now we understand that 45 degrees is simply 180 divided by 4. So here for us to use this formula here, we have to find the values in radians. So the angle here is pi by 4. So let's evaluate this. Pi divided by 4 times root of 72. That should be 6.66 for the length of arc BD. That is in centimeters. Now for part 2, we have to find the area of the region. So how can you find this area? So let's observe. It is the area right here. We may find the area of the whole thing first and then minus the area of the triangle, right? By observation, we can find the whole thing. Whole thing is area of, of uh, sector, half r square. r square theta is the angle. That will be the area of the whole thing. Again, we have to know these formulas for this kind of question. Area of sector is half r square theta. Okay. Now, this is equal to what? So that will be half times 72. That should be 36 times 1 over 4. That should be 9. So that should be 9 pi. That makes sense because here this will go away. Cancel out, cancel out. This will be 36. And this will become 9. So 9 pi centimeters square for the area of the whole thing. Now, we want to remove the area of the triangle to get this one. So pretty easy. This one is a right angle triangle. It will be half times base times height. That will be 3 times 6. That will be 18. So finally, the area that we need is the whole thing minus 18. We can, of course, uh, find the value for that. That will be 10.3 centimeters square for the area, correct to 3SF.